Hi, thank you so much for coming back and watching my second video. As I said, my name is Ryan. Um, this is the second video in my series for introducing filmmaking to uh, younger people, particularly children, and instilling that love, um, putting sparks to that flame to get everything going. And in this video in particular, we're kind of getting into the whole meat and potatoes of the whole thing and uh, discussing what makes a film great. What are some of the, the ingredients that you need, for lack of a better phrase, to put into your film to give it that, that spark, to, to get it going, you know, to have the audience respond to your work. Because obviously, you know, when you make a film, you have it all in your head and certain things, you know, need to be translated so the audience can interpret what you're saying and respond and have the you know proper emotional response that you're going for. Um, so today I'm basically just gonna be detailing uh, some of those things and kicking things off. As I said and mentioned at the end of my last video, the most important part of filmmaking is your story and your characters. You have to have those, those two things. If you don't have those two things, your movie's not gonna succeed. You know, you could technically make a film, but people aren't gonna respond to it. You know, it's kind of like the argument of like, you know, some people will think or have this like, you know, thought that like movies with a shoestring budget or movies made on the cheap, for lack of a better phrase, aren't going to be as good as some of the huge CGI Marvel blockbusters that are super popular right now, you know, the superhero films and nothing against those films. But I think something that goes to speak for the point that I'm making is a lot of those movies, not all of them, I'm not trying to generalize, but a good amount of them, at least in my opinion, I found to be emotionally distant, you know, kind of hollow. Um, obviously, visually, they look really cool, but I'm not really invested in what's going on. You know, it's all just a bunch of big, you know, explosions and flashing lights and cool visuals, and that's cool to sit back and watch, but after a certain point, it starts to get a little boring because you're not invested in what's going on, or at least that's my experience. You could put that with any other, you know, big blood, you know, big budget CGI fest that you've seen, doesn't have to be what I'm referencing in particular, um, but you want your story to ring true, and one of the best ways to do that is having strong characters and a strong story. There's a lot of really great films that have been made on the cheap or for a low budget that have really great characters and a great story, but the effects don't necessarily hold up. Well, then it comes down to what's more important, the story or the effects, and obviously it's the story and the characters, you know, because you care about what's going on, and maybe, while the effects might not be as good as the characters in the story, you kind of just give it a pass in a certain way because this, every, you're so invested in that story and in that journey, and that's really, really important. Another thing I want to talk about is something that Spielberg, as I mentioned in my first video, does incredibly well, and that's capturing that sense of wonder, you know, that sense of awe. Um, back in 1993 when he released Jurassic Park, which might not be a great movie for kids to start out with just because the dinosaurs are pretty uh, intense and whatever, um, Spielberg was able to capture such a incredible sense of wonder and sense of awe and like you know you're seeing all these things and you have that that spectacle you know because he was a pretty big director at that point but they all all of his movies specifically that one they feel very grounded you know like I wouldn't call them theme park movies or just kind of like dumb blockbusters like they're blockbusters but in the sense that they're different because you care about the characters, you care about everything that's going on. It's not just like, oh look, there's dinosaurs or whatever. It's like you feel emotionally attached and invested in that story because the characters are so rich. And you're, when you have those characters, you're able to capture that sense of wonder, you know, and that, that grandeur that some movies, uh, that movie, movie magic, you know, that people will reference. Uh, it's hard to capture, but when you can capture it, that's vitally important. Another thing is you gotta have a good script. You know, you gotta have good writing, you gotta have good dialogue. Um, that's not to knock, you know, certain people who will ad-lib or kind of come up with stuff on the spot. There's nothing wrong with that, but in general, it's good to have at least a script to kind of go by as like guidelines or like, you know, a reference of like, this is what we're doing and let's keep tracking like this. Anything cool happens, we can go forward with that as we wish, but in general, we wanna keep that ball rolling and you want to have believable dialogue and you want the characters to feel relatable. You know, the acting is very important, but a big portion besides the acting is having really good dialogue for the characters to say. You know, actors can only do so much of what they're given. You know, they can only work with what they have 
to a certain degree, and then at a, per, a certain point, it comes down to, do you have a good script? You know, is it solid? Is the dialogue relatable? Is it believable? Is this how you would be talking with your friend over a cup of coffee? That kind of a deal. So that's very important. You also have to be passionate about what you're doing. It's hard to pinpoint exactly like certain specific examples of what I'm discussing, but it's very easy to tell when you watch a movie if the director was invested in it or not. Basically, did he want to make the movie? Was he passionate about it? Or did he just do it for a paycheck? And I feel like, at least to me, that can be very glaringly obvious. And I think that's important to establish that you have to have your heart in it. You know, you might not necessarily, especially if you're a first time director, get to make the movie you always dreamed of making or something like that. But you have to still have some sort of an interest and some sort of a passion to get your film off the ground. Because if it's lacking, the audience will catch on to that very, very quickly. And lastly, you have to have a great score. You know, this one is more of a personal preference and, um, and obviously music in film is very important, but there are some films that have been silent, you know, or rather they don't have, they don't have a score to accompany the film and it works just as fine and sometimes that can establish a certain theme, but for all purposes in this video, uh, music is very important, again, to reference Spielberg. Um, his frequent collaborator, or collaborator is um, the composer John Williams, who's composed some of the most famous themes of all time, you know, Jaws, Superman, Star Wars, all that stuff, um, Indiana Jones, uh, all those guys, so uh, it's very, music is very important to your film. So anyways, that's going to do it for the second video. Um, be tuned for the next video that I post, and I will talk to you guys soon.